Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. Happy new day. It's not Monday. It's not quite close to the end of the week, but we know we're going to have a good one and April Fool's is over, so I don't have to buy any of that shit that I see online. Not like buy, like purchase, but like I believe, I, like I just get gullible sometimes and they got me with a lot of the April Fool's. But anyways, not back to talk about that. Katie Maloney's mother, Terry, who is an absolute sweetheart, met her multiple times. Actually, all of the moms are amazing. Brittany's mom. Um, I met Kristen's mom a few times. Super sweet. James's mom. Sheena's mom. Katie's mom. Stassi's mom. I mean, I'm digging the moms. I like the moms. But anyways. That and also Kristen Doty. So before we jump in, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's jump right in. Okay, guys. So we're going to start with the Kristen Doty of it all. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Kristen Doty looked back on her relationship with Tom Sandoval during an episode of her podcast last week, sharing that when they dated, Sandoval made her feel as if she had to be skinny and actually fed her laxatives to aid her in her efforts. Oh. Well, looking back at a recent episode of Vanderpump Rules in which Sandoval revealed that Ariana's dog once ate 500 laxatives that it found in their $2 million home, Kristen opened up about the pressure she felt with her ex-boyfriend as she also revealed what she's heard about the recently taped reunion. Luke, your first response was, who has 500 laxatives? I was like, Tom Sandoval. That's why I was so skinny when we dated. We took laxatives, Diorex. We did. I had to be as skinny or skinnier than Tom Sandoval. God. He was like, here's some Adderall, and here's some laxatives, and here's some water pills. And I was like, okay. I didn't know any better. That sounds great. I'm not hungry at all, and washed it all down with some Sir Sangria. Why not? Now, as for what she heard about the upcoming reunion, she did admit hearing that it was a bit tamer than usual. I heard at the reunion, well, Katie Maloney said this on Watch What Happens Live as well, that no one screamed, really shocking. Then after Kristen called out her boyfriend, Luke Broderick, for hanging out at Sandoval's house while Ariana was away in New York City, he shared what he heard about the taping. He said it went well. That's all I know. It went really well, according to him. Kristen noted that although it was mild, there was a fight at the taping. It popped off for some other peeps. So I think Sandoval got it taken off of him. I'm not going to say who, but I know who the two people who got in the fight because I heard one side of it and Brittany heard the other side of it. So we'll see how the reunion ends up going. Mm. Now, speaking of which, I wanted to play a couple clips for you because it looks like Terry Maloney is speaking out. And thank you to the Bravo investigator. I thought that this was good. Here we go. Wished, I guess, would be better. That they had shown both sides. Um, what Sandoval was going through and what Ariana um, was going through. And then their friendships. Uh, their friends on both sides of it. You know, why Katie is taking a hard stand with Ariana and why Lala is taking a hard stand with Sandoval. I think there's a lot being left out of it. Um, the, the, the women on the show, my daughter, uh, Ariana, Lala, Gina, you know, all of them, they have been through so much together and they're coming out of it, I think, as stronger women. Yeah, but also this. Um, so I want to ask you a little bit about Lala. Um, you may have heard she recently has been doing a lot of media and she went on her Instagram story and when she was questioned about her relationship with Katie or if there was an issue between her and Katie, she said, I'm sure if I go back to being miserable, we'll get real thick again. Contemplated not posting this because I love her mom. Sorry, Tear. What are your thoughts on that? Like her bringing your name into it or, you know, just having this public sort of battle with Katie? Well, I was very surprised and a little bit shocked to uh, not only see what she said about Katie, but to see that I was included in that comment because um, it was like she knew she was going to say something very, very hurtful, extremely out of line, in, in my opinion, to the point that not only was it going to hurt Katie, but it was going to hurt me as well. Right. And then she went ahead and posted it anyway. And I just, that's just not the lala I know to do mm -hmm. something like that. I, 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 I still, um, don't understand that, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate when, um, you know, there's so much negativity and hateful, hateful things said to, uh, the cast. I agree with that. You know, also though, it has to be a little bit awkward that Terry's name was brought into it, but, and to be fair, I think that Terry is like a very, 
I, and I'm sure that there's a side of her where like claws can come out because that is what a mom does. A mom protects at all costs. But then also the other part of me just kind of looks at it like even when Raquel in Vegas was talking about wanting to hook up with shorts and she like was kind of talking back to Terry a little bit. Terry keeps her composure. She's a very level-headed woman based off of any conversation. I've seen interaction with her and even watching her on the show or listening to her in this podcast because I think at the end of the day, she knows this is Katie's thing. So as long as Katie wants to do it, she is going to support her. But I think also if you walked up to her and said, I hate your daughter and X, Y, and Z, and you just completely trashed her, I, yeah, do I think that Mama Terry can buck up? One million percent I do. She's a mom and she's allowed to have an opinion. Okay. Speaking of which, we're going to go back over to Lala for a second because there was a rumor and a rumor that has been a, been around a long time that she hooked up with Jax Taylor. Now she's addressing it. Here we go. So the, the first one I thought about was that I hooked up with Jax Taylor. Oh, that was the first one. Okay. Um, that never happened. If you remember season four, like it's still talked about that like I've hooked up with him and I'm letting you know, it, it never happened. Right. Um, was there flirting? For sure. I may have asked him to come over like when I was wasted and I'm thrilled he did not. Did okay. you make out with him or anything? Never. Oh, okay. never. And season four, I'm at a, a bar with, it's me. We're at a high top table. I remember it vividly outside. Me, Jax, Kristen, and Sheena. And I had my hand on his leg and I was rubbing his leg, but everyone wanted to, I jerking him off. Yes. Which yeah. of course I you fed into the, that. Uh, of course I out. fed into that. <laughs> right. And we leave together, but we never went home together. I had my boyfriend slash not boyfriend at the time, pick me up and ended up having sex with him as we drove a, a moving vehicle on a freeway. That was season four? Yes. Lala? Oh, wow. And how, like right now, now. <laughs> thinking about, like in my sober state of mind, if someone were like, let's have sex while I drive, my brain is immediately going to go, one wrong move and we're through the windshield. Okay? Yeah. Not this Lala. This Lala was like, yeah. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. And all what? the speed bumps while he's... Oh, you got to take over the. You, he's I'm, on gas and brake. You're on wheel. You got to get that together. Can you imagine? I was seeing that? facing the wrong direction. <laughs> you you got to get that together too. Come on. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so easy. There's there's safe ways. No, but could you imagine? Because I was holding on to the seat and I was using like he been holding on to the steering wheel. So that would be her very brother. unsafe. You got to just lay the seat back. He does. <laughs> Spoiler alert: We know. did get home safe. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell you're still here. The fact that but. he's not like you're on his lap. reverse cowgirl, baby. You're on his lap driving, and he's using. And also, can you imagine see break, that, break. see that drive that driving by you? Someone face the other way, and the person <laughs> like I would die. I think he had very tinted windows. Oh, of course. But okay, literally, that was the rumor. They were like they left together. They for sure hooked up. We know I never hooked up with him. So that's one rumor. Okay. So the, the, okay. This is so uncomfortable for me just because I have brothers and sisters. The fact that she even talks about it like this in front of Easton is wild, but I guess that's the relationship that they have. Anyways, Terry speaking out, Kristen Doty, and also Lala clearing up the rumor. Welcome back to the Up and Adam channel two the second channel and pop off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Smash that like button, show some love and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.